Hey everybody, what's going on? It's your girl Shantika once again with another TTC vlog. And I know you saw the title. <laughs> I'm excited too, y'all. <clears throat> but first things first, let's discuss this cycle right quick. Today we are on, unfortunately, we are in cycle 27. And today we are on cycle number 6. AF is packing up, getting ready to go. So by tomorrow, AF will be completely and utterly gone. Unfortunately, this cycle, AF did arrive on cycle day 23, five days early than um, when it usually comes, which is on cycle 28, which it did last cycle. I don't know why. I've been doing everything right, taking my vitamins, working out at least four to five days out of the week, and it just came early. I don't know why. And so, kind of pissed off about, about that, but, you know, looking on the brighter side, I'm going to the doctor next week. I'm going to the doctor next week, y'all. It is a official. I was kind of pissed off because I was trying to go, you know, before AF, but AF decided to come five days early, so I had to reschedule for next week. But next week, I am definitely, definitely, definitely going to the doctor. And so what I wanted to do as I prepare to go see the, the OBGYN, we're not going to see a fertility specialist, but we are going to have a, um, what is it called? We are going to have a fertility screening with an OBGYN because before you can see a fertility specialist, you have to be officially diagnosed with something. I haven't been officially diagnosed with something because I've been trying to conceive for almost a year and a half. We started trying to conceive in December of 2011. It's almost December. It's December is right around the corner. So we're embarking on almost two years of trying to conceive with no reason why we haven't. And so, um, so we're going to go get, I am going to go get a fertility screening and my husband is going to get a sperm analysis and so we're doing all that next week all that shebang and the facility that I'm going to is called the Progressive Medical Center which is a women's facility and the particular screening infertility screening that I'm supposed to be getting includes a full complete physical hormone analysis ovulation testing pelvic ultrasound with a pap smear test. So that is what my entire appointment is going to be about. I'm going to be in there all day. <laughs> but it's for a good cause. So yeah. So I am trying to prepare myself for the visit and I'm going to give you like a list of things like once you do for those who have yet to go to the doctor, the list of things that you need to do not just for yourself but the questions that are good to ask the doctor and the information that you need to prepare to give the doctor you know so that he'll know how to treat so first things first on the day of your appointment eat a light breakfast don't do bacon and eggs and all that crazy stuff because you're gonna get a blood test they're gonna draw blood and you don't want your cholesterol to be like you know and so just eat a really really light breakfast exercise um, lightly just so that you can calm your nerves and you know you feel good you know and everything like that me personally I'm not taking any vitamins on the day of my appointment um, because of the whole testing thing now I'll take you know all my vitamins and stuff up until the day before but the day of I'm just not going to take anything I'm just going to eat breakfast that's it Okay, what you need to do is have your fertility or your cycle calendar with you. Bring it with you because I don't know what you guys do, but for me, I have been tracking my cycles for a year and a half, and this is my second calendar. I know y'all always see me refer to my calendar here, which has lots and lots of writing on it. You know, anything that happens in my cycle, I jot it down. You know, so I have a year and a half worth of my cycle information, what happened, what transpired, if something weird happened or whatever the case may be. Bring that with you so you can discuss that with your doctor as well. Of course, it goes without saying, but I'll say it anyway. 
prepare for your pap smear. You go, you know you're gonna be, and that's why I say eat light, cause you don't, you know, you're gonna be in the stirrups. Your legs gonna be wide open, and you don't want to be passing gas or feel bloated or you know anything like that. Make sure you shave if that's your thing. You know, clean yourself really, really well so that you can be super comfortable. You know, in that position. <laughs> um, provide details of your attempt to get pregnant. Tell the doctor when you started getting pregnant. Um, because, and that's really important because a lot of OBs will not treat you for infertility or say that, you know, you're experiencing fertility if you have not been trying for a baby for at least 12 months. I'm not saying the lie, but let them know, listen, if you've been trying for over 12 months, and you're of a certain age or whatever the case may be and you have not conceived, let them know, look, this is very important to me, I have not conceived yet, yada yada, I'm not on birth control, whatever the case may be, we, you know, have intercourse often and nothing's happening. And, you know, let them know that you want, you want something done about it. <laughs> what can we do? What is wrong with me? You know, tell them how many times you BD or, you know, baby dance or have intercourse with your spouse or significant other. Also, let him know, him or her, he or she, let them know um, if you've ever passed or had a positive OPK. If you have, give them that information, the cycle day that you got a positive OPK. Your cervical mucus, if you track that, whatever, all that information helps. Bring in all vitamins and or supplements and medication, anything that you take, bring it in so that the doctor can see it and let you know, look, this is not cool, this is cool, you can continue to take it, or this is not cool, don't take any more of that, you know. Um, now, the questions that you should ask after you get all of your, um, all of that out of the way, you know, you can you can let the doctor know um, if you stopped taking birth, if you were ever on birth control, how long were you on birth control and when did you stop? Um, do you use any type of lubricant? You bring that with you or just tell them, yeah, we use pre-seed or whatever the case may be. Let them know if you smoke. Let the doctor know if you um, have, if you use alcohol or recreational drugs or how often. Um, let the doctor know how often do you take any medications, dietary supplements, and or anabolic, anabolic steroids. Um, let the doctor know um, if you've been treated for any medical conditions, including any sexually transmitted infections. And let the doctor know as well um, if you are exposed through your work or lifestyle habits to chemicals, pesticides, radiation, or lead. And then let them know how much stress plays a role in your life because, you know, they always say stress is a factor that causes people to not get pregnant and um, all that. You can also ask him once you, they, you have a a diagnosis of what's going on with you, the next step is to ask the doctor of course of treatment. Like what course of treatment are you willing to go on ahead and start? Sorry y'all, I'm happy as well. Okay, um, what kind of test do you need? That's a good question to ask. What treatments do you recommend trying first? Are you into the fertility drugs? Do you want to try IVF? Whatever. Let them know what you want to do first, second, third, you know, whatever. Um, if you do opt or you decide that you, you and your husband or your significant other, you decide you want to go ahead and try the fertility drugs, ask him what the side effects of and what you can do to lessen that, either taking the medicine at night time or whatever, like find out what the side effects are because I know that there are many. Also, which is very, very important, when taking fertility drugs, the, whatever particular drug the doctor chooses to put you on, 
what is the likelihood of conceiving multiples with the treatment that you are recommending? Now, everybody may not be on board to having multiples, but that is one of the very popular side effects of taking fertility drugs is that you may conceive more than one child. If that's not something that you want to deal with, then you may want to reconsider another cor course of treatment. In my particular case, I do not care. Give it to me. Give me all of them. I will keep them all. <laughs> I will raise them all and I will keep them all. You know, we've already, husband and I have already discussed, you know, if we do end up you know, we are deciding to go to the fertility route, fertility drug route, you know, we do conceive um, multiples, you know, we'll, we'll definitely, we, we don't mind. Um, if the first treatment doesn't work, what is plan B? Um, are there any long-term complications associated with this or other infertility treatments? And that's pretty much it. If you have any other questions or anything else you could think of that you want to tell the doctor, make sure you write everything down because your every appointment is your allotted time. That time is allotted for you to get everything that you need to get out and you want to be prepared. You don't want to waste time saying, uh, 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 or once you leave your appointment, you're like, dang, I should have asked him this. Oh, dog, I should have asked, you know, her that. Write all of your questions down. Bring all of your materials and your different things with you. Even bring the free seat if you feel like it's important or whatever. Bring everything with you so that you don't forget to ask the doctor if what you're doing is okay. And just to let them know what you are doing currently so that you can get the advice and they can go on ahead and diagnose and treat you the way that you should be. So, I'm excited. I'm nervous and I'm excited at the same time because, you know, my mind is like, you know, I don't know what's going on. I don't feel like I have, like, certain um, issues that, you know, other people suffer from because I don't have any symptoms. And so, but... You know, you really, really never know what's going on until you actually get the full testing, get the full workup, and they can say, okay, boom, this is what your issue is and all that. So, I'm just hoping, we're praying. I want y'all to pray if that's what you do. Um, if you don't, just, you know, wish us the best. You know, pray that whatever issue that either myself or my husband has, it can be easily treatable and we can go on and hopefully in December will be our month, January or January, whatever. I'm just hoping that we can get our first BFP and go on with pregnancy in December. It'd be a great, my birthday's in January, so, you know, um, this is like the perfect, perfect, perfect time. My husband's like, well, what do you want for Christmas? And I'm looking at him like, you know what I want for Christmas. I want a positive pregnancy test. <laughs> <laughs> and the same thing as my birthday. My birthday is January the 6th. That's what I want for my birthday, to take a test and that thing stay positive, you know. So, I'm just keeping myself busy with school. I have a 4.0 currently. I'm working my butt off. I have all A's. So, I'm just working hard, keeping my mind busy, and just counting the days until next week when I'll be able to walk into the doctor's office and find out what the heck is going on. So anyway, um, for those of you who have already been to the doctor and everything and you have, you know, more questions or you want to suggest some other things that I either left out or just don't know because I don't know, you know, let me know if there's anything else that I left out that I should ask the doctor or I should, you know, suggest let me know in the comments down below every little bit helps i don't know what i'm doing i'm just trying to you trying to have a baby y'all that's all we're trying to do and so i'm embarking on this journey just you know learning as i go and whatever i learn i bring to y'all so i hope you guys enjoyed your weekend um and i will talk to you definitely next week god's willing life lasts um and give you guys the results of my visit. 
hopefully I'm going to see if I can vlog a little bit on the way there and, you know, show you guys where I'm going and stuff like that. And so see, I'll see if I can vlog it, if husband is cool with it, you know. But if not, I'll definitely make a vlog that very same day to let you guys know how the appointment went and what we have decided to do as far as for the treatment. Alright? So I will talk to you guys next week. And enjoy your week, and don't forget to leave any suggestions down below that you may have that you think I should ask the doctor that I left out. All right, peace and hair grease. Bye.